I've been setting up for several minutes. <laughs> you don't really understand why they call it a video production until you make a video. It is a production, man. I, my lights got all crooked, my camera was crooked, my microphone was out of place. I don't even know how that happens. I'm the only one down here. Oh no, that's a lie. My toddler was down here. Well, he's not a toddler anymore, but my three-year-old was in this room messing about. So, all right, we have another mystery box. This one was an eBay purchase. Unsorted, untested, they say. The person who sold it looked like they didn't have, they didn't have any other jewelry for sale. And they did have a couple lots and they're sold, which I did not see until after I purchased this one. So when I'm purchasing online, especially on eBay, I'm much more likely to buy a box from somebody that doesn't sell jewelry as their primary thing. That said, I do have two more boxes either on the way or possibly in my mailbox right now that are from the seller that does put together like jewelry lots, but she has a lot of good reviews and I'm hoping those ones are good too. But this one, I don't know, unsorted, untested. Do I believe it? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's true. So let's find out. I started opening this one, but I haven't looked inside yet. So let's see. All right, there she is. There she is. It's probably the first time I've ever called something a she. Usually everything's a he. This, this doesn't look too bad. All right, so it's all, oh, there's quite a bit in here. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. All right, did we go for the small bag first or the big bag? I don't know. I already see something in here. I have this brooch. It's not a good one. I guess we'll start with a little bag and then we'll start incrementally dumping that guy out. And you know what? I'm gonna try to time this one too. I don't wanna go too crazy long on a video. So I'm just gonna set my phone to the side so I'm somewhat paying attention to the time. And here we go. All right, first up, this thing. It almost looks like maybe like a hair, something you stick in your hair, but uh, why is there a hole in it? Maybe there was at one point something dangling down from it. Craft lot. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little Aztec sun looking thing. Cloisonne. Look at it. Do you know what it reminds me of? Where are my 90s kids at? Okay, so I was born in the 80s, but it was the latter half of the 80s, 86, if you must know. And look, it's going off for no reason. This has happened to me before. I left this on because my diamond tester is on the fritz and I was gonna test it to see if it's working because it's not registering my set as diamonds anymore so I was gonna test it. I turned it on and then I forgot about it. So apparently if you leave it on too long it starts beeping at you. All right this guy he reminds me of the sun in I think it's Mario Brothers from the like old NES system. <sighs> is it Mario Brothers? I'm pretty sure it is. The one that like he goes across the top of the screen and then he spins around and he comes down and he tries to attack you <sighs> and then like kill your character off. That's who that is, that like angry sun. If you know the game, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's totally the angry sun. If you don't, I'm just gonna sound like a crazy person, but there you go. That is kind of neat. I'm gonna try to sell him or at least see if he has any value. So I guess I'll start myself a little pile of, you know. Oh, these are all pins, okay. All right, well, this one needs, oh. Womp womp, he's missing like every stone except for the little tanzanite colored ones. And he's filthy. And he's unmarked. So this might go in a crafting lot. Do do do, or junk lot, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so my new tactic is to try to resell some of the stuff, possibly in an online auction, like a live auction via YouTube Live which I've never done, so that'll be interesting. Or I might take them to a flea market and just try to sell them like, you know, three to five bucks a piece. Okay, what do we have here? We have 
Oh, it's a train. It's a train. It says, last train to nowhere. No Alaska. Okay, so first of all, this pin is on the bottom instead of the top. That's kind of bothersome. I'll see if it has value. If not, I'll just give it to kid number one because he is train obsessed. He's so obsessed with trains. He loves the crap out of trains. He has forever. He's eight year old, years old and still totally loves trains. He never really got into the superhero thing or anything like that. And we homeschool. So I had this conversation once with another homeschool mom at the playground who said her kid was into something, I can't remember what it was, but she said, he's not in school, so he doesn't know what cool is. And that just really resonated with me because it's so true about my son. He doesn't have the peer pressure from other kids to like, you know, like you do in a school setting where you're around all this, a lot of kids, they tend to like get into clicks of things and you know, you get poked fun at if you don't like the right stuff. Homeschool kids, not as much. They definitely, you know, we meet with other kids and, but they just don't, they don't seem to care, I guess. And I'm totally stereotyping, but that was true for me when I was in school. I don't even know what this is. A clip on earring of something. Anyway, so he loves strings and no one can sway him of that, which I think is cool. This earring on the other hand, not as cool. It's missing a lot of these stones. And again, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Oh, it turns, okay, it's supposed to be that way. Does that change anything for me? Nope. All right, I have like a broken earring rando lot. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Horse, ram, okay. Rendezvous. Another Alaska pin, this one from Anchorage. For rendezvous. That's kind of pretty, like the horns are kind of iridescent. Do you see that? Mm, I kind of like that. What would I do with this though? I've never been to Alaska, but I really like this pen. Someone else might like it too. So that might go on eBay. I got a lot of pins to research. Here's another one, another train one, Alaska train one, Alaska Railroad Corporation, 75th anniversary. So if my kid doesn't want these, I might line them up like Alaska pins or train pins, depending on what else we see here. Oh, isn't that so sweet? Ooh, it looks like an old Singer sewing machine with this like floral design on it. Oh, that is so cool. I really like that. I don't sew as much as I would like, but I do appreciate a good close the sewing singer pin. All right, Arctic Winter Games. Chugiak Eagle River. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm totally butchering your stuff here, Alaska. Um, yeah. This one has no back to it. Juniper something, something. Got some abbreviations. All right, cool. More Alaska pins. Oh, this one has hard rock on it. I guess it's a hard rock pin from Kona. Is over something? Probably not, but hey. All right, let's just run through these. Unless the cool is up like this friggin' sled dog pin. Yeah, that's kind of neat. The last great race, 2006. Okay, again, another thing to look up. I might just lot these all together into a little Alaska thing. Probably Alaska. It's got a little moose on it. Oh, kid number three is up. He sleeps in the room above me. My mom is here visiting so that I can do some videos and some other stuff. I've got that one and I'm trying to knock this out. And that one. The last frontier. Look at that. Is this a thing? Is this a chevron? But look at that little happy car. All full of gasoline or petrol, depending on where you're from. And ready to go. This little fish pin, unfortunately, is missing some of his enamel, but 
it's kind of in a spot where a reflection might hit him, so maybe that's okay. What is that, a trout, perhaps? Spear design, something, something. 94. Okay. <laughs> and this is very Western, not very Alaskan, but there you go. A saddle, a hat, and a boot. Unmarked. And some more Western pins. Alright. So far, I'm not like totally crazy about this. There's another moose. A moose. He matches our other moose. I. I. Make a difference. Some sort of wood pin, perhaps. Here we have another sled dog pin. They're kind of neat. We have a little totem dude. Actually, he kind of matches our angry son. So, see, this looks kind of Aztec y to me. This looks a little more Native American. What do you think? Or is this an Aztec thing too? I don't think so. He looks like a little totem pole up. Uh, totem pole bird. That's what it reminds me of. But that one's really neat too. Ah! Ah! To keep or not to keep, I don't know. Another sled dog. Aww, he's so cute. Sled dog adorable. Alright, come on, pins. Man, this is a little cow. From 1983. Moody Jackson. Moody Jackson. Alright. Team Yukon Arctic Winter Games. Okay. 96. Uh, okay. Not, not too crazy interesting. Another moose. Another rendezvous moose. From Anchorage. Another fish, Alaska fish. Yeah, okay, so I think I might just lot all these up to a bunch of pins, except for I might keep the trout. There's one that just simply says Alaska. Is it upside down for you? Probably, sorry. Alaska. And, oh, look at this little heart. Okay, all right, hold the phone. No, your costume. Your costume, but that is kind of cool. It's pretty, it reminds me, it's like a little Christmassy. Oh, it's missing a stone. Son of a biscuit, there's a stone missing. All right, here we got another one. That almost looks like jade, a little bit. I doubt it is, unless this is some sort of something special. Hmm. I doubt it's an, oh, wait, wait, hold up. All right, I can't get that off. I thought I saw some marking on it, but I can't really tell. Hmm. Hmm. Can we get this off? No. Oh, there it goes. Okay. No, perhaps there's no marking. I'm sure it's nothing special. Do I have something that I know... stone. I'm just not quite sure if it's anything special. I don't think it is, but I'll set it aside just in case. More sled dogs. More Alaska stuff. There's a, a growing tradition. Oh, it's a state fair pin. Alright, that was a sled dog. You're just gonna have to trust me alone. Or should I retrieve it? No pun intended. Get it? Retriever? Retrieve? Okay, there's a duck one. All right, my train kid might also like that because he's like really into ducks all of a sudden. Well, not all of a sudden. We have a lot of ducks, a lot of ducks, and he's just taking a real interest in them this year. Look at them huskies. <gasps> so adorable. And he's really been taking care of all the, oh, look at these little Canada pin. I meant to that to my brother. Just for funsies. We, we went to Canada together a couple times. It was fun. We had a blast. And there's a little Christmas wreath. Alright. Whew, those are all the pins. 
that was a lot. I got some research to do on those ones. I really, I really like the angry sun. And no, this is the best one right here, that guy. Little singer pin. While I decide what my favorite stuff is. Okay. All right, cool. Bag one down. How are we doing on time? It's been 14 minutes already. Dang. That was like, I barely, barely got into anything. All right, so you're going to hang out to the side. All right, I guess I'm just going to do a couple more and then cut this off so I don't go too crazy long. Let me just grab a fistful of fun here. Oh, lordy. There are some tangles happening. Okay, there's one I'm just gonna pick up and grab because what? Check it out. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Wow, okay, so this is a giant chunky abalone necklace. Sorry, I gotta itch on my chin. Oh, but it's all broken. So should I throw this in the crafting lot or should I try to repair it? But I don't, I'd have to harvest a clasp. That just seems like a lot of work and I'm lazy. So, what's one to do? Ugh, but it's cool. All right, I'm gonna have to throw that in the crafting lot. That might be the piece that someone sees in a photo and it's like, that's the crafting lot for me because those are super neat. Ooh, hair, but. This is just a very simple bracelet, but I kind of like it. Make some music with it. I kind of like this. It's very small though. It, fit my, it fits it fine, okay, cool. I actually might keep, I gotta stop keeping jewelry, but I like this one. I like it, I like the open bangles. They appeal to me. This definitely needs to be cleaned off though. For show, but I'm gonna wear it anyway in the meantime in the room since I like to put jewelry on while I'm unboxing. All right, let's just do a few more and then I'm gonna cut this off. Uh, what are you? All right, we got some sort of tinkled mess here. This bracelet looks like it has potential. We'll get there next. Okay, so this is just a bar hanging down. Okay, sorry. I'm just making sure someone's getting the kid. My mom is up there. And kid number two is driving a vehicle around on the ground of some sort. Gosh, they're so loud. I have a shotgun mic though, so I'm hoping that blocks out a lot of it. From here, it sounds like some serious chaos is going on upstairs. Alrighty, this is nothing special. This I'm gonna go in my little resale, three to five dollar resale pile. This is quite interesting. I like this little heart chain. Good grief. Okay, this heart chain is very pretty, very sweet. Oh, wait, is it headband? Wait, what's going on here? Wait, what, what is this? What is this? Okay, now I'm confused. It has like a... What is going... What is this? Somebody tell me. It almost looks like a... Uh, I don't even know. Do I, do I tell you what I think this looks like? It doesn't look like something I'd wear. I'll tell you that much. I'm not sure what it is, but I think the chain is cool and harvestable, so I think I'm gonna throw those in the crap lot. Because all those little, they're like matte gold hearts. But it doesn't have, I thought maybe a headband, but it's not quite, unless you put it on your head like this way, which I hesitate to put things on my head. I do watch Texas Gal Treasures, and I know she puts everything on her head and it cracks me up every dang time, but I'm a little hesitant to do that. It feels a little gross. All right, here we have, oh, a little, is it a bracelet? It might be a choker. Holy cannoli. 
this chain is totally salvageable. It's in good shape. There's a little charm on it that says, you are my sunshine. And on the back it says, oh, Bala, B-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. I thought it said Bella and I thought, well, lots of people have the name Bella. So maybe I can sell that. The Bala? Is that like a name brand or is that someone's name? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, that's gonna go in the crap lot too. Someone can use that chain for sure. Or maybe I might take this chain. No, I'll just put it in the craft lot, whatever. All right, here we have another Christmas item. This is a tangled mess of a chain. Just a gold tone. Nothing too crazy special. Uh, this one I'll probably throw in the craft lot. And then we have this bracelet. Oh, there's an earring. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll keep our eye out for that one because that's pretty neat. A little dragonfly on there. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, dragonfly might end up... No, I cannot. I will not. I will not keep anymore. This is like a Pandora style. Is it actually silver though? It does not say. That's a substantial lobster clasp though. And it's kind of decorated. This isn't actually Pandora braids up there. Hmm. It's got a snake chain and this little charm bracelet and this very pretty glass heart. <coughs> oh, my throat's getting dry. Uh, that I will say for sure. I may test it though, just to see if it's silver or not. I doubt it. It's not marked. It's probably not silver. Um, I thought I had magnet down here, but I don't know where it is. Just to look really quick. Alrighty. So I think that, that and, bleh, and this brooch here, these, let me turn them the right way. Those may be our winners for this afternoon. All right, those are the ones I like. Those are those are my picks because that is just so pretty. All right, I'm gonna clean this off, get some water, and I'll do a second video. But for now, that's gonna be it on this one because yeah, we've been here plenty long. Thank you for watching again. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I get tongue twisted every single time I talk. I'm sorry. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell if you want to know when the next video drops. And hopefully I'll see you all on the next one where we continue this bag of, hopefully, bag of glory. So far we got a couple good things. And we've only just scratched the surface because my goodness, there's a lot left in there. So, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Thank you again for watching. Bye, y'all.